I have some Buster Blader shenanigans for you today. Rank 8 Axis is back, and I figured we take a look at some Vanquish Soul and Cyber Dragons to kind of get you in the mood for some of that new good stuff coming. I'm big 30% of you that have not smashed the living crap out of that subscribe button. Smash it so you guys don't miss out. More honest content. So the first is we're going to be looking at here is a Buster Blader by steel dragon like now the reason why i like to talk about these sorts of decks is it's actually kind of cool to see the different levels of innovation i guess you know the ideas and things that you can kind of stick together here and actually have work out you know considering all ideas aside here buster blader still a, a busted card you gotta love you know locking your opponent's extra deck so we have one copy of just one little lapse router dragon. Triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring with one copy of Buster Blader. And then one copy of Buster Blader, the Destruction Swordmaster. And then we got the triple Buster Whelp. We got one copy of Baldrick, one Druus Worm, and one Magna Hut. So surprised these are all limited to one. Then we have two Snorinir, one copy of DD Crow. Your one little dragon Buster Sword for locking. Then we got two copies of Effect Veiler, two Ghost Ogres with one Magna Rocket. Triple copies of Maxi with your one copy of Ring of Worm. Then we have one Rocket Recharger with one Rocket Synchron, two Rocket Tracer, one Lubelion, one copy of Boot Sector, one Brand Regained, two Call by the Grave, one Dragon Ravine, three Quick Launch with one Beast, two copies of Memories, and triple copies of the Prologue of the Destruction Sword. Then we have two Striker Dragons, one Azalea, one Anima with one Protector Whelp, one Heretic Seal, one Rom with one copy of Hot Red, one Chaos Rule, of course, one Dispater, two Buster Dragon, one Savage, one Baron, and one copy of the Buster Sword Wielding Amazing Guy. Then we have two Drill Knockbird, one Turtle, one Spider with one Kurikara, one Nibiru, two Cosmic Cyclone with your one Harvey Sylvester, one Herald of the Abyss, one Thrust, one Appointer, one Dimensional Bear, and two copies of Evenly Matched here, wrapping up, well, the power of your metagame. Next up here, hey, look, you know, to everybody that's like, oh my god, we, we need Sekka's Light to move. Like, we need three of this card. Well, this is what you would be seeing. All right, like, people kind of need to understand that, you know, essentially what Super Heavy Samurai is, is, you know, essentially what life is like with, you know, Sekka's Light. And what, what would I even call this? Well, it's technically still Rank K Axis Turbo, but I mean, like, you got some, you got some very interesting rescue ace cards in here hop your squadron all these little tuner monster slash extenders deep sea diva shenanigans yeah this is really just the pile so we have triple copies of alpha the master of beast triple copies of ash blossom and joy spring with one baldrick one Druus worm and one magnet hut may as well magnet deck them all yeah triple diva with two copies of shifter we have two copies of effect failure with triple copies of ghost ogre now, triple copies of Giz Macarochi, and then, of course, one copy of the Guitar Gernards? <laughs> I'm just going to call this the Gonads. Yeah, triple copies of Hobby or Squadron with your triple Curry Kara, triple Maxi with triple copies of Delta. We're actually seeing value here This uh, for our Spell Negator. Okay. We have one Gamma with one copy of the Fire Attacker, triple Impulse, one Ring of Worm with one Lubelion, one Driver, and triple copies of Sekka's Maximum Value. And then we have one copy of Zero Boros, one to Hark with one Soldier Chaos, one copy of Willow, one Vampire with one Centuria. We got one Zeus with one Dingrisu. We got one Senshin with one Chinging. One Stardust with one Chaos Ruler. We got one Dispater, one Baron, and one copy of Excel. And then we have two copies of Chaos to Delos, triple copies of Denko Rekka, two Phantasme, one Ghost Bell, two Space Rocks with your two Epsilon, two Multi Dimensional Kaiju, and one Swash de Floor here. Wrapping up discount super heavy samurai at home. I, I really think that that's like the best way to go about looking at this deck. Next up here we have Vanquish Soul. Now honestly I think that uh, this deck is one of the coolest little control decks you can kind of get out here. Obviously you know hiding behind TC Boo is going to be the main reason why this deck can actually kind of do things. Obviously I mean nice little rank one here into like mid-range control options i mean we always talk about like the little synergy with maxi due to kaiser varius but eh, the deck's really good at generating a lot of advantage for itself and i i think vanquish soul is going to be one of those cool decks that is going to stick around so we have triple copies of ash blossom and joy spring we have one magna hut with one dogger on two copies of ghost bell with your one curry carl we got triple maxi with triple copies of dr mad love 
triple copies of the Borger, and then we got triple Kaiser Varius, two copies of Panthera, two copies of the Pluton HG, and triple copies of Rosin. Then we have two Pot of Prosperity with one Rota. We have triple copies of Small World with triple copies of Stake Your Soul, one copy of the Dust Devil, and then we have triple copies of There Can Only Be No Fun Allowed for the Opponent. Now, we have one Scarecrow down here, one Azalea with triple copies of Rock of the Vanquisher, one Unicorn, one Phoenix, we have one Axis Code, one Baguski with one Nor, we have one Exiton Knight with one Zeus, we have one copy of Vices Amaterara, and then we have one Junk Speeder, and one Ancient Berry Dragon. And then we have one Dimension Shifter, two copies of Phantasmi, triple copies of Ghost Reaper Winter Cherries. This is literally the reason why this deck actually gets any chance to play. Like, you have to rely on this card to cleave off extra deck options so you can even play the game. We have two copies of Nibiru, triple copies of Cosmic Cyclone, one Talent, two Solemn Judgments, and of course we have one Trinity Burst here, wrapping up your little control options here as we kind of go forward here into the new format. I, I think a lot of people might actually give this deck a shot. I think this deck is very, very, very good. Next up here we have Rescue Ace. <laughs> Why are we looking at Rescue Ace again? Well, I've enjoyed the track record that this deck has had. Honestly, every week as we kind of spin through the innovations for this deck, it continues to show up more and more. And I just like to continuously give people the heads up. Hey, you know, we're X weeks into the OCG format at this stage, and we're now seeing another successful, you know, result for this. So I think that that's actually pretty worthwhile to know here. So we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. Two copies of the Little Craw, two copies of Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, triple copies of Maxi with your triple copies of Airlifter, and one copy of Fire Attacker with two copies of the Fire Engine. Of course, we have triple Rescue Ace Hydrant, oh, triple copies of Impulse with your two copies of Preventer, and then we have two copies of Turbulence. You know, for this being the big boss monster, the fact that we just play two of it always makes me smile. It's so, so bad good. Uh, we have one copy of Alert, two copies of Called by the Grave, triple copies of Emergency, one one for one, two Pot of Prosperity, one Rota, your one Rescue, your one HQ, and then we have one Contain and one Extinguish. And then we have one Underworld Goddess, one Trisbania, with your one Sunlight Wolf, your one Anima with your one Proxy F, we have one Avermax with one Lingaribo, one Unicorn with one Nightmare Phoenix, one IP with one Donner, got the one copy of Heat Soul, one copy of Soldier of Chaos, one Axis Code Talker and one Mud Mud. And then, of course, we have one Draw and Lockbird, two copies of Phantasme, two copies of Curry Kara, two copies of the Space Rock, one Feather Duster, two Evenly Matched, one Red Reboot, one Reinforce, and triple copies of Solemn Judgment here, wrapping up your Rescue Ace Control deck. Still keep in mind, I mean, most of the time you're only playing one of these. The only one you even care anything about having extra numbers of is Emergency, because the card is literally that good. Like, it is just the free chicken nuggies of this deck. All right, and then last list we have here is some Cyber Dragon shenanigans. You know, uh, Cyber Dragons still amaze me that this deck comes out of left field, but I mean, like, you have some pretty cool contact results out here. And I think a lot of people underestimate, like, Rolling out a Mega Fleet's a free clear up of the EDM if your opponent sets something up there. Fortress just sucks up an entire field of machine monsters. You have a lot of cool resources available to you just in, you know, synergy that Cyber Dragon stuff has. So we have triple copies of Cyber Dragon. We have triple copies of Core with one copy of Hertz. We have one Naxter with one copy of Cyberdark Chimera. Then we have one Godarla, one Gamma Steel, and one Jizakuru. Got triple copies of Maxi with your triple copies of Parallel Exceed. Then we have triple Cyber Emergency with one Cyber Repair Plant, one Cyber Dark Realm with two Droplet. Got one Feather Duster with one Herald of the Abyss, one Kaiju Slumber with two copies of Lightning Storm. Got one Machine Duplication, or two Machine Duplication, one Monster Reborn, two Power Bond, two Regeki, one Talents, two Thrust. And, of course, one Red Reboot. Then we have one Update Jammer, one Splash Mage, one Azalea with one Almirage, one Axis Code, one Baguski, one Sky Thunder, one Dingrisu, one Nova, one Infinity, your one Cyber Twin, one Cyber End, your one Rampage, your one Mega Fleet, and one copy of Fortress here, wrapping up, well, your chunk of interesting OCG goodies for this week. So, especially Cyber Dragons, like, anytime I see this deck show up, I try to talk about it, because... Rogue like this is always going to be cool. So what do you guys think about this week's list? Please comment down below tell me what you guys think. I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons!
Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.